Ladies and gentlemen, good evening uh, and welcome on behalf of Asia House to the Commonwealth Club, whom I would like to start off as Chief Executive of Asia House by thanking for so generously extending the use of their premises and for looking after us this evening. We are immensely grateful and glad to have this opportunity of being here. Also, I, I would like to thank Adrienne Loftus-Perkins and her team, because this is the last night of the fifth Literature, Asian Literature Festival, which has been, I think, I see many faces here, those of you who have attended, a resounding success. And all great resounding successes should end with a real bang, as we will, I know, tonight. During the festival, we have traveled to a mountain in Tibet, through the aftermath of wars in Bangladesh and Iraq. We have discussed long-term conflicts in Kashmir, Sri Lanka, and Northeast India, and have enjoyed the many, many faces of India. We've battled the demons of Shaname, been transported to Iran through poetry, feasted in China and Iran, learned how to be Asian in Britain, and explored literary feminism and connections across the Indian Ocean. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we return to Britain to hear about the wonderful and varied works of Hanif Qureshi. Playwright, screenwriter, novelist, and filmmaker, Hanif was born in Bromley, Kent, to a Pakistani father and an English mother. He started his career way back in the 70s with his first play, Soaking the Heat, which was staged at the Royal Court Theatre in Sloane Square, and has been chronicling the lives and challenges of British Asians ever since. In 1985, many of you will know, he wrote My Beautiful Laundrette, a screenplay about a gay Pakistani British boy growing up in 1980s London for a film directed by Stephen Frears. It won the New York Film Critics Best Screenplay Award and an Academy Award nomination for Best Screenplay. His own semi-biographical, autobiographical first novel, The Buddha of Suburbia, won the Whitbread Award for the Best First Novel. His second novel, written in 1995, The Black Album, explores some of the issues facing the Muslim community living in Britain in the 1980s. And after that, in 2001, his novel Intimacy was adapted to a movie which won two bears at the Berlin Festival, a golden bear, which I guess must be the best, for the best film, and a silver bear for the best actress, who was Kerry Fox. And the book was translated into Persian in 2005. His drama, The Mother, was adapted to a movie by Roger Mitchell, which won a joint first prize in the director's fortnight section at the Cannes Film Festival. And it showed, interestingly, a cross-generational relationship with changed roles. A 70-year-old English lady and grandmother who seduces her daughter's boyfriend, a 30-year-old craftsman. Apparently, explicit sex scenes were shown in realistic drawings only, thus avoiding censorship. His 2006 screenplay, Venus, saw Oscar, BAFTA, Screen Actors, Guild, Broadcast Film Critics Association, and Golden Globe nominations for Peter O'Toole in the best category. And his latest novel, Something to Tell You, was published in 2008. In 2009, Hanif donated the short story, Long Ago Yesterday, to Oxfam's Oxtails Project, <coughs> four collections of UK stories written by 38 authors. His story was published in the Earth Collection. In 2010, his collected stories, and in 2011, his collected essays were published. He has been awarded the Chevalier de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres, and he was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 2008 New Year's Honours in recognition of his services to literature and drama. And later on this evening, we will be awarding him the Asia House Award for Asian Literature. But a remarkable and remarkable and very well regarded career as a, as a writer. I would also like to introduce finally our moderator, Kenan Malik, this evening. Kenan is a writer and lecturer and broadcaster. He is a visiting senior fellow in the Department of Political, International and Policy Studies at the University of Surrey. He is a presenter of an analysis on Radio 4 and a panelist on The Moral Maze. His books include The Meaning of Race in 1996, Man, Beast, and Zombie in 2000, and Strange Fruit, 
why both sides are wrong in the race debate in 2008. And in 2009, his examination of the effects of the Rushdie affair from fatwa to jihad. We are privileged and lucky, ladies and gentlemen, to have both of them with us tonight. Over to you. Thank you. Thanks very much.